which expression is equivalent to 121 minus x squared. So 121 minus x squared, that's the difference of two squares, right? 11 squared is 121, and x squared is equal to x squared. And this is always equal to, in this form, 11 minus x times 11 plus x. There's always this alternate um, switching of the operations, so you can quickly find the way to factor this uh, by looking at the difference of squares, where if you have, let's say, a squared minus b squared, that's always equal to a minus b times a plus b. That just means a squared, we'll take the square root of that, that's your first term. So we had 121, square root was 11. Second term is b squared, take the square root of that, our b term, our b squared term is x squared, so b is just x, right? And we put those terms there. Um, so it's, and it's minus plus, and that's all there is to it. You can cross out choice one, it's minus minus, same thing as choice four, and the remaining two, it's not going to be x plus 11 times um, x minus 11, right? That would give us negative 121, it's in fact choice three. And you could test those by um, using the distributive property.